Hello, hello, and welcome back to the world of assassination freelancer. And we pick up where we left off in the last episode, and we are about to begin our second tier of the espionage campaign. So let's find espionage, there we go. This time round we are off to Bangkok, Chongqing, Dartmoor and Mumbai. So let's see, we have one alerted territory. Uh, we'll probably be starting with that one, which is Chongqing, China, where we have one target, one safe and one supplier. We must take no damage, no firearms, and suit only as our optional objectives. So on to our prestige objectives, and we have pacify baseball bat, collateral kill firearms, and silent assassin no firearms. So uh, I don't think we'll actually, yes, let's try the silent assassin no firearms. So we will not be bringing a weapon with us. So we basically have to silent assassin suit only this mission. Thankfully, there is only the one target. Safe journey, 47. Welcome to Chongqing. We have been informed that the Syndicate is currently in operation here. Find the target and eliminate. However, this is no walk in the park. They are on high alert, so you need to be careful. Good luck, 47. So here we are in China in what must be a very refreshing rain after the heat wave that we've had over in England over the last couple of days, which I believe is about to come to an end. So we're going to use this refreshing opportunity to make our way straight down to the restaurant area, which is where, after checking the map, we have discovered there is a safe. So we need to try to silent assassin this. Luckily, I have not brought a gun with me, so I cannot get carried away and start shooting people. I do have to remember that anyone I knock out, I cannot take their outfit. So we have clue number one in the restaurant. So we just got to look around for clues number two and three. Something tells me they will both be in the kitchen area. Uh, this could go badly, but we'll risk it anyway. So you can go straight to sleep. There you go, nice and snug there. You look a bit warm, mate. Let's cool you off in the freezer. Now, shall I grab that knife? Might be an idea to grab that knife because I've literally brought no weapons with me at all. Right, so, gentleman is in the freezer. Uh, we may as well take out the other occupant of the kitchen as they are now alone. We're going to store you up in the crate out in the corridor here. So now we have the kitchen all to ourselves. We can walk around and track down our next uh, clue. Uh, the safe is just over here around to our right. Is that a clue there? That is. So we have our second clue. So where is the third and final clue? Uh, unfortunately, uh, I don't think it's in the kitchen. And I have a very, very disheartening feeling that it is out where the uh, inspector guy is. I can't actually remember his name now, so we will take that knife because I will need a weapon at some point. So it's not out in the corridor, uh, down in the courtyard anywhere. Uh, we've got the one that was in the kitchen. There's none in the bathroom. Uh, I think we should probably check the rest of the restaurant first. But it's looking increasingly like that our final clue is going to be around somewhere near the only enforcer in the building. 
So hopefully we can find that clue and scan that clue without the enforcer here at the table. Ah, there it is. I knew it'd be around here somewhere. So can we scan this without this guy spotting us? This is going to be tricky. Uh, let's get in quick. There we go. Run away, run away, run away. Oh, walk away at high speed and we've been spotted. So we've lost our silent assassin. But we have managed to gain the safe. So there hopefully is a lot of coinage in here because we've just lost five and a half grand and we don't actually have a lot of money at the moment. So let's have a look in the safe here. What have we got? Well, we've got almost half of our losses back there. Uh, hopefully we can find maybe the courier as well. Uh, or, at the very least, get the rest of our optional objectives. So, no firearms, take no damage and suit only. So from here, let's go and visit the supplier as they are nice and easy to access. And they are up around by the apartment buildings or around the back of the apartment buildings around here. This is where the guy usually is and is again today. Hello, sir. Are you not needing an umbrella? It is raining, you know. I accept. Never mind that. What do you have for us for sale? So we have uh, a number of items, not too much that we really need or can afford. There's a nice sniping rifle there. So I think we'll give you a miss for the day. So with the safe and the supplier both now taken care of, all that's left is our target. And they look like they're up on the second floor of the abandoned apartments. Oh, some more coinage there, another grand. So we're only about two grand down from our potential total. So up the drain pipe, in through the open window, and as I suspected, our target is up on the second floor. So we are gonna make our way through the interview room. Now we have to wait here for a little while for the interview to finish and after several minutes of waiting I come to the conclusion that the phone is not going to ring and the interview will just carry on and stagnate as it is so we have to make a decision do we run straight through the room or do we run through the room with our knife eliminating everyone as we go which is the more desirable option for me. As we've lost our silent assassin, we may as well make the most of it and embrace the John Wick approach. So we have made our way through the interview room. Apparently we're being engaged, uh, not in a good way either. So up the drain pipe, we are now on the second floor. So let's track down our target. They're up here somewhere. And it looks like they are one of the guards. And he's actually one of the easier guards to get to. And he's also just moved into the perfect position. So let's distract him with this radio and wait around the corner. And when he comes to investigate, we can choose to cut his throat or throw our knife in the back of his head. Well done, 47. This will surely be a blow to the Syndicate. You should get back to the safe house. I'll contact you later. So with our one and only target dispatched, I'm going to make a beeline straight for the exit so that we get our extra two and a half grand for our optional objectives. So all in all, overall, I would say a successful mission. Unfortunately, we did almost immediately fail our prestige objective, which was worth a considerable sum. Either way, we come out of the mission alive and slightly heavier of pocket. A 
though we didn't manage to collect up any weaponry this time round. We should be better off for the next mission. Let's get back to the safe house. You've prepped the next assignment. So, sticking with custom, we are going to unload all of our goodies, of which we have none, and then move on to our reward crate, and we're going to take that seeker one immediately, ignoring everything else, don't care what it is, the seeker one will do nicely. So join us in the next episode where we will take on our next syndicate member of the espionage campaign. I have been Anubis, and I will see you all in the next video.